Hello study bees, how are you all? So today we are going to have a very important discussion which is useful for I guess any student preparing for any kind of exam be it JEE or NEET UG, NEET PG, NICT I mean literally any kind of exam because to crack any sort of exam you need to study, right? So today we are going to discuss on how to study effectively for long durations without breaks and burnout. And I know that that got you all interested, but before we move into the video, uh, I just have a humble request that uh, do watch this video till the end. I'm sure it's going to be very useful to all of you. And if you like my channel and if you watched any of my previous video and like the content that I put, then please, please, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. You can also connect with me on Instagram and send any kind of queries or suggestions. Okay, so having said that, let's jump on to the main part of the video. So starting with the very first thing which is to start early in the day. So try to minimize the time duration after you wake up and before you get to your study table. Having a productive and powerful start of the day is very very important to keep you motivated for the rest of the day. So that inertia and latency you know to start and sit on the table and start with your you know curriculum of the day gets reduced many folds when you reduce the duration after getting up to getting onto your study table. This also brings me to a very important point that you will never start early in the day. You will not even wake up with your alarm if you are not motivated to get up for the particular day. So my next point is decide before you sleep what you're going to do next day. Make your to-do list and note down the targets for the next day. You know what you're going to read pre-lunch, post-lunch, pre-dinner or post-dinner. Make your schedule very precisely and in a very concise manner the previous night so that you're motivated to get up early in the next day and get started right away. The next important technique that I'm going to talk about is something which I use and I think many people use is the Pomodoro technique. Now, uh, according to many researches, it has been proven that our productivity reduces after 2 to 4 hours. So, I would suggest that in one session, you should not increase more than 2 to 4 hours, which is also the basis of the Pomodoro app. The Pomodoro app provides you with a long duration break after you have done like 3 to 4 sittings of about 45 minutes or 25 minutes, whatever duration you decide upon. I used to use this app which is right here, the focus app on which I used to put a uh, timer of 25 minutes. This also helps you to not only focus for the duration for which the timer is set but also speed up sometimes. Like what I used to do is I used to decide what I'm going to do in these 25 minutes, how many pages I'm going to complete or what topic I'm going to complete and that actually helped and when you have lesser time to prepare that actually helps you to not just focus for that the particular duration but also to complete your required amount of topics or required amount of pages in that particular duration. This is how I used the Pomodoro app to keep a track of the number of hours I studied in the whole day. You can also use the noise cancellation or white noise feature to focus while you study. And I would suggest that whenever you are off focus while the Pomodoro app is running, do pause it and try to minimize your distractions. This also brings me to my next point which is to keep the gadgets and distracting items away from you. So you have to try to uh, not use your phone uh, for using FB or for Instagram or for Twitter or any kind of you know uh, stuff where you can just scroll and scroll for hours in the mini breaks because then that stuff will run into your mind and you will not be able to focus easily and instantaneously again. Use your phone for these things when you get a long break of 15 minutes or 20 minutes after you have uh, studied for about uh, one and a half hours or say two hours. You can also use the Zen mode or the focus mode so that you do not get disturbed by any notifications or any such distracting item on your phone if you are using your phone for the study like a lot of coaching apps and online coachings you. Now a very important thing that I have seen a lot of people do that sometimes it will happen that no matter how you know well you have kick started the day or and uh, how motivated you are today. You, uh, you know, you will not feel like studying and you will somehow end up wasting half a day or so, you know. What people tend to do is that when already half a day is uh, wasted, your motivation level is like really down, your energy level is really down. To you. So, ye kaam bilkul bhi nahi karna hai ki aadha din waste ho gaya, to baki aadha din bhi koi baat nahi, ab aaj ka din to aise nikal gaya, kal kar nahi. Don't do that. I mean, don't procrastinate this. I will tell you what you need to procrastinate in my next point. But, yes, if you wasted half a day, you know, Try utilizing the rest half of the day very very effectively, whatever best you can do in that rest of the day. Because if you waste the rest of the day, starts a very vicious cycle which is the regret cycle that you will have at the end of the day. And then somehow it will also affect your study next day or next to next day. And try that if you are leaving something for the next day, then small topics or insignificant topics, which is the main task of the main task, try completing it that particular day only. 
होगी क्योंकि वो ना एक बर्डन हो जाता है नेक्स्ट डे के लिए कि आपको लगता है कल का भी पूरा नहीं किया आज का भी पूरी पूरी टास्क बाकी है यू नो सो और अगर कोई छोटा मोटा सा टॉपिक होता है ना तो किसी तरह आप उसको नेक्स्ट डे में कहीं पर कवर अप कर लेते हो एंड नाउट द पॉइंट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ आस कंसिडर एज अ वेरी नेगेटिव वर्ड बट यू हैव टू नो हाउ टू प्रोकेस्टिनेट एंड वेन टू प्रोकेस्टिनेट सो so, आपको क्या करना है आपको अपनी स्टडीज को या किसी डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक को नहीं प्रोकेस्टिनेट करना है यू हैव टू प्रोकेस्टिनेट एनी डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग थॉट्स वट एवर दैट थॉट इज उसको बोलो कि भैया अभी शांत हो जाओ अभी मेरा पोमोडोरो रन कर रहा है आई विल फोकस फॉर दिस थर्टी मिनट्स वो पाँच मिनट का ब्रेक मिलेगा उसमें मैं इस बारे में सोच लूँगा और एनी कॉल्स की अरे यार आज ये कॉल करना था और ये इंपॉर्टेंट मीटिंग थी या इस फ्रेंड से इंपॉर्टेंट बात करनी थी जब मैं भूल गई उसको प्रोकेस्टिनेट करो कि इस ड्यूरेशन में जब मैं फोकस कर रहा हूँ आई विल नॉट डू दिस डर Coming to my next point, it is a lesson that I learned from a senior of mine, Dr. Kanhaiya Bansal. It's from a book called Eat That Frog, which tells 21 different ways to stop procrastinating. Now, in one lesson in this book, it says that if you are given a task to eat a frog every day with other food items, then you know, uh, eat that frog first. And if you're given three frogs to eat, then eat the biggest frog first. Now, ask me why? If you do your most challenging task first. then you channelize a very powerful energy into your subconscious which will make you uh, stay motivated energetic and less distracted throughout the day and you will be you know more focused towards completing your goals and the tasks for the rest of the day if you cannot do this then a different way of doing this is to do your difficult topics or whatever uh, you know you do not want to study in the time duration when you feel the most energetic like i used to feel uh, you know most focused uh, one or two hours before my lunch time you know when i was slightly hungry which is also somewhat scientific uh, certain researches it is also proven that uh, your focus is uh, the most when you are somewhat hungry or your stomach is half filled now coming to my next important point which is uh, a term called ergonomics that i am sure some of you have heard ergonomics is uh, is defined as you know how you can be better suited to your environment and how your environment could be best suited to bring out you know uh, the most efficient way to work for you so it might seem very little because uh, these little things are not really noticed by our brain but it is very important that you have a suitable study place a comfortable chair and table a particular environment you know where you all where you have all your books stacked up and anything which makes you feel motivated you know you can have certain quotations placed or a picture of your family or anything which makes you comfortable motivated and uh, charge you up whenever you feel uh, bored or sick of studying but obviously it should not be too comfortable that you fall asleep there aur ha sleep se mujhe yaad aaya ki uh, it's not like you cannot once you woken up you have to study and stretch the whole day i was someone who loved taking short naps in the middle of my study so whatever i used to do uh, in my long uh, breaks like if i took a half an hour break after two hours i would sleep you just close my eyes and sleep for half an hour बट द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग टू डू इज सम ऑफ यू विल टेल मी कि यार आधे घंटे में तो नींद नहीं खुलती है डोंट गो टू योर रूम और स्लीप ऑन योर बेड स्लीप इन एन अनकम्फर्टेबल पोजिशन ऑन योर टेबल एंड चेयर सो दैट गेट डिस्टर्ब एंड यू वेक अप इन हाफ एन आवर और से फोर्टी मिनट्स और सो एंड दीज नैप समाइम्स रियली हेल्प यू नो रिफ्रेश यू एंड यू कैन स्टार्ट विद ऑल द एनर्जी अगेन Now moving on to a question that I have I have been asked like a lot many times by now is how can you avoid burnout or what to do when you have a burnout? There are three techniques that I'm going to tell you, which I use for myself. First and a very easy technique is to use the positive and the negative reinforcement technique. So decide, uh, you know, for yourself, like I am going to do this at the end of the day. I am going to have a coffee with my friend, or I am going for a walk in the park. Uh, so if you have to do that, I have to complete this much task only. Then I will go and do this. And if you've not completed, then you cannot do that task. Or I will watch this uh, friends ka episode, you know, just twenty minutes episode. If I have completed this uh, task for myself. second a uh, very important technique is the switch technique no matter how motivated you are no matter how much you want to study or how well you are studying at certain point after a few hours you will feel like giving up you know there's this theory called uh, the law of diminishing diminishing activities which says that if you do a thing repeatedly then you tend to get you know bored after a point of time and you do not want to do that thing most easy way to avoid this it to switch switch between easy topics and difficult topics switch between doing your notes and your q bank switch between topics or subjects you find boring and you find interesting so uh, i also used to do this thing like uh, if i'm very energetic and very focused i would do my notes uh, in that duration and if i feel like not studying for a while right now but i don't want to take a break i would just switch to doing question banks in that duration now the last and a very effective way for myself was using pseudo breaks now the discovery of this term uh, i think i would give credit to myself so uh, pseudo break is uh, having a break uh, in a way that you cool your mind 
you know study in a way where your mind feels that you have actually taken a break like uh, uh, go to a restaurant by yourself eat something while you solve a question bank or go to a uh, you know a coffee shop and have coffee while you are reading your notes or just brushing through your notes sometimes as i have spoken in my previous video also sometimes what i used to do is i would get dressed up really nicely put on all the makeup order really good food for myself switch on fancy lights in my room and just lie down with my ipad in my hand and solve certain question banks or just you know go through mcq discussion videos or anything uh, you know that did not require a very active learning on my part in this way you will not get exhausted so i think the, uh, in these ways you can avoid burnout and still if it is that excessive then it is okay to take a break once in a while you know when you have completed your task or uh, when you feel like you can complete it the next day it's all right uh, you know you can go out with a friend go party or just you know eat at a restaurant if you have a two three days time and you can go on a, a trip to a nearby place or anything that you want to do sit by the ghats or something so yeah i guess uh, that's all and i know that these are like very little little things but uh you know i can tell you i can reassure you that i have used these things for myself these are like tried and tested and some of them are like even research based formulas and if you use them if you inculcate them in your daily life routine i'm sure it will show you results and you will be able to improve on your study hours and you know breaks and avoiding burnouts so you i would just recommend that try whatever suits you out of all these points whatever suits with you uh just try it out and let me know if it helps you that will be all for today's video guys uh, i hope that i was able to reach out to you in a very positive way and if you like my content then please 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 do like share and subscribe to my channel and you can also connect with me on instagram and share any suggestions or you can also tell me if any of these techniques were helpful for you see you next time bye bye